This turned out to be a very interesting NBA draft with some surprises I didn't see coming. And I must say, James Booknight sliding all the way to 11th was the biggest surprise of all. I was sure he was going to go 6th to the Oklahoma City Thunder, which is roughly where he should have been drafted in my opinion. And most people didn't expect him to drop past 8. The Charlotte Hornets should be absolutely ecstatic about this pick. Not only did they select the biggest steal of this year's draft in book night, but Hornets GM Mitch Kupchak also traded for the draft rights for Kai Jones, who not only has a lot of potential, but also fills a need at that power forward center position. But in this video, we will break down the floor and ceiling of James Booknight and why he will most likely blossom into an all-star for the Hornets. But before we get into it, if you end up enjoying this video, hit that like button for me to help out my channel. And let me know in the comments section if you're happy with this pick at 11 and what you think Book Knight's potential is in the NBA. I do try and respond to most people. Alright, let's get into it. James Book Knight has elite NBA score written all over him. He had a breakout year at UConn, averaging 18.7 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 1.1 steals per game. And he's most definitely landed in a great situation for his development, as he's going to play with the ideal backcourt teammate in LaMelo Ball, who is going to put him in the best position to succeed and play to his strengths. Book Knight is a very athletic guard who can explode to the rim when attacking the basket. He's also super bouncy and can play above the rim, which will be incredibly fun to watch with him playing alongside LaMelo. He was excellent at finishing at the rim and finishing through contact. He was actually one of the best finishers in college considering he made 66% of his shots at the rim on high volume as he took over 5.27 shots at the rim per game. And the kid can not only slash to the basket, but has a reliable mid-range jumper, is an incredible cutter, can be super deceptive, and uses his body control to draw a ton of fouls. He's probably going to live at the free throw line in the NBA as he hits his prime. Book Knight is also ambidextrous, finishing layups and dunks with either hand, is a very good ball handler, and uses it to his advantage to create separation for his jumpers or in isolation. The kid's gonna break a ton of ankles in the league. He's also got a knack for knocking down difficult contested shots off the dribble. I could see him wreaking havoc in transition and kickstarting an offense when the team can't buy a bucket. Book Knight projects as a type of player who can create a lot of offense for himself and possesses the ability to take over games as he proved when he dropped 40 on Creighton back in December. Defensively, Book Knight is very solid and can be a pest for opposing guards and is especially effective as an off-ball defender at navigating screens and using his wingspan to disrupt passing lanes. He's also a very good rebounder for his 6'5 frame as he managed 5.7 rebounds per game at UConn. Now, he does of course have things he's gonna have to work on, like his passing for example. He only averaged 1.8 assists per game in college, at times forcing some poorly timed passes. And even though Book Knight is solid as an off-ball defender, he's still gotta improve as an on-ball defender, which he has the tools to do over time. And him taking on a smaller role than he had in college offensively will likely help him develop in this regard. As a spot-up shooter, he's inconsistent and streaky at times, but his 80% free throw shooting on high volume is an encouraging sign he can develop a solid jumper. He's also reportedly showed an improved jump shot in his draft workouts, which is also promising. I mean, the kid has a ton of potential, and the moment he's able to develop a consistent jumper, he'll be absolutely scary to deal with on offense. I really am shocked he fell this hard in this year's draft. I believe a lot of teams are going to regret passing on him. Book Knight is going to fit perfectly playing alongside LaMelo Ball long term, and the two of them will create a super exciting backcourt for years to come. From day one, I envision him being at the very least a spark plug off the bench as a rookie. I think his floor will be something along the lines of a Jordan Clarkson, only he'll be a far better cutter. But his ceiling is very tantalizing and I envision him peaking closer to his ceiling than his floor, especially if he develops a more consistent jumper. Book Knight has the potential to be a multi-year all-star and possibly an all-NBA player in this league. I think the Charlotte Hornets future just got a lot brighter. What do you guys think is Book Knight's floor and ceiling in the league? Do you agree he's the steal of the draft? Let me know in the comments section as I do try and respond to most people. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to help out my channel and consider subscribing. 
Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one, guys. I'm out.